Charms Media has been serializing the transformation of Lodwa Town, the headquarters of Turkana County, county number 023. And if you are a regular visitor, you'll realize that every time you come here, you will find something new. Yes, the Lodwa of yesterday is not the Lodwa of today. Now, join me once again as I take you through the new Lodwa. This time round, we bring you that transformation through the eyes of Abdul Wamala Bakari, a businessman who dared to step out of his comfort zone in Sivare village in Funyula constituency, Busia County, to the far-flung Lodwa town, where he established the first ever bookshop in the year 2000, that is, over 22 years ago. Yes, this is the bookshop which is still an iconic establishment in Lodwa. I found this county without a single bookshop. A, country, a county that is larger than Western, Central and Nyanza provinces combined. The only bookshop we had was a small bookshop in the Catholic Diocese of Lodwa, which used to sell mainly religious books and very few uh, educational books. I moved many parts of this county, selling books, supplying books to schools, from Kibish to Kapedo, Lokchogyo to Kerio. Bakari became even more daring. He started the first ever supermarket here in Lodwa in the year 2010. He named it Kakumat. Again, he proudly takes me through the supermarket. Later, in the year 2017, he established another branch of Kakumat, and it is now the biggest supermarket in Lodwa. In most of the supermarkets, yeah. foodstuffs are the number one seller. Chakula ndiyo tunauza sana, but of course, yutu uh, zingime, masabuni, biombo, na yutu zingine za maisha kawaida. Yes. This is a one-stop shop for many shoppers in Lodwa, both residents and those on transit. We get our supplies from Nairobi and Kitale. After our purchase, we have our store in Nairobi. We are, they, are, they are delivered in our store, and then after collection, our truck picks them up from Nairobi up to uh, Lodwa here. Uh, uh, for those ones from Nairobi, but for those ones from Kitale, we go pick them from the distributors in Kitale and bring them to, to our supermarket. Bakari, who is commonly known as Kakumat because of his business brand, says when he moved to Lodwa, the population was so small that they knew each other. As we walk through the streets, Bakari, who is full of energy and excitement, reflects on how infrastructure has changed from a dusty town to a modern, organized town with paved streets. We used to have very difficult situations, and the only mode of transport between Trukana and Kitale was by trucks. And most of the time, these trucks used to carry goats. So wherever you travel from Lodwa to Kitale, you reach Kitale, you are carried in a truck that is carrying goats, and you reach Kitale, you are smelling like a goat. So people could know that this guy is coming from Trukana because the goats urinated on him and all the smell of the goats, and so you are just smelling like a goat. You could rarely move without a truck breaking down between Lodwa and Kitale. And so you could even stay for two days on the road. Now you barely take four hours. The road has been done, it's four hours, five hours. Nowadays, the road from Kitale to Lodwa is no longer a shame, but a piece of infrastructure worth blowing the trumpets about. As Lodwa town continues to grow, its impact is felt in the aviation sector as well. 
This is Lodo Airstrip and it receives daily commercial flights. With flying, it has eased our lives because now you can uh, wake up in Nairobi and come to Lodwa in two hours, then go back to Nairobi. You can have breakfast in Nairobi and have your dinner back in Nairobi. After having come to Lodwa, done what you wanted to do and gone back. So flying has really eased our work and uh, we, we, the, 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 the skyward flight that comes, us, uh, comes daily has really done uh, connectivity to be easy. Those days, Lodwa would be a ghost town at night. But now see, the town is a hive of activity with many businesses operating 24 hours, like this restaurant and this chemist. Both the national and county governments have done a good job in making the town livable. This place used to be dark, but now we have security lights. We are operating up to late at night because of the security around town and the lights that have lighted up the town. And so this has really improved our businesses and it has helped in people feeling secure because they are working in a lightened environment. The hospitality sector is also doing very well. You can comfortably get good accommodation facilities, not only in the town centre, but also on the outskirts, from your normal hotels to resorts and guest houses. Toyota Kenya is also here, yet another sign of a growing town, with demand for vehicle maintenance services increasing. This means that now I'll have more people coming to my shop, people coming to buy provisions for their needs. And so we appreciate and then we are also getting a lot of other new faces and new opportunities. And this is really good, not just to my business, but to any other business and all the other people who are residents of this county. For Bakari, Lodwa is now his second home, apart from his village in Funyula constituency, Busia County. See the home he has put up here. You are really dairy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a good yeah. house. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Thank, well you, done. Thank, you. thank you. And his is a daring journey that teaches us that it takes the determination of a few to transform a whole community and that business is for those who can see far. Bakari did not begin from comfort. He has boldly built his business empire in Lodwa from the scratch. And now he is enjoying the fruits of his labor. Well done, my brother. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thank now you, thank you. You've conquered the supermarket business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate it. Yeah.